un campeón. Hecho derecho, campeón. Felicidades. You are a true champion, a true man, and you are as well. Let's get this party started. This is boxing. This is top rank. 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Coming to you live tomorrow from the Desert Diamond Arena here in beautiful Glendale, Arizona. As always, this is boxing. This is top rank. We will see you tomorrow. Here in Glendale, Arizona, one of the most anticipated world title fights of the year on Top Rank Boxing. It can't possibly miss in terms of being a fan-friendly fight. It's that kind of night where the legends of the game with the Mexican heritage feel obligated to be here in an arena that is packed to the top in anticipation. Navarrete all day, baby. Let's go. Come on. Emmanuel Navarrete saying, this is the fight I want. This is the fight I need. Valdez, Valdez. A fight that Oscar Valdez says will define him. <coughs> they both feel there's an undeniable destination that this fight will arrive at. It'll be the fascinating heavyweight Richard Torres Jr. who goes by the nickname Kiki. He is the United States Olympic silver medalist from the last summer games. He's a top pro prospect delivering impressive results, displaying a lot of power. Five destructive knockouts to start his career. He is ready. Heavyweights throwing punches straight ahead. And as of right now, Jake is doing the right thing. He's making it an ugly flight, fight. He's attacking from the outside, but then he's getting close and trying to oh! it, and then he gets caught. South Paul Hook just laid him out. Kiki. Big time power here in round one. Seven. Let's see if Richard Torres Jr. can finish off Willie Lake Jr. here in this first round. Thudding shot. Goes to the body with a series of punches. Just missed with the uppercut. Right hook came in. This is a barrage of headshots, and it is over. It is a first round TKO victory for Richard Torres Jr. Richard Torres Jr., 6-0, six knockouts. The guy who's talking about development, what he wants to work on. I feel like I'm still about to get in the fight for some reason, you know? It was a, close, it was a quick fight, and I'm, like, I'm excited for uh, things I need to work on, though, still, you know? Just coming out, I wanted to stop that jab a little bit more. Uh, I got the feints going, and I saw the feints working, so I just wanted to utilize those, and instead, I, I, next time I need to stop the jab a little more before I get that. We, we accomplished the job tonight, and back to training tomorrow. It's like right after the fight, you're like, I'm always just judgmental and judgmental of the, the performance I just had. And now it's kind of like I get to, get to enjoy the night. You know, now it's kind of like, oh, okay, I won. You know, but like, you're still, you're so fight mode the entire time that once you get out, you're like, I got to work this, 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 and this, because I'm, I'm still like in it. But now it's like, okay, I get to breathe a little bit. El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas. The legend continues as he'll be looking for his sixth professional win. We we'll give you honor and praise every day of our life for four the time as you are worthy. In the name of the Son Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Look at this crowd as we are still in the midst of the undercard. These are hardcore fight fans who want to see this kind of action. And they want to see Mexican legends like the last name that's about to be announced. This is a fight that was scheduled to take place May 20th on the Haney Loma undercard. The Nevada State Athletic Commission would not sanction Marquez as Vargas's opponent. Marquez told me, look, I think this kid didn't want to fight me and he's going to have to pay because I've Ooh. been training for him. And Vargas, he said, they're going to have to pick him up in front of his kids and his wife because I'm going to knock him out. I mean, he is a firecracker, yeah, but he's going to continue to eat those shots. No! And down! Vargas playing to the crowd, and that could be dangerous if he loses his focus and his composure. 
spit oh. coming out of his mouth, and there's a right hand from Vargas of Flurry on the inside. He sees that the legs of Alvarado are weakening, and he's coming right at him. And down goes Vargas, uh, Alvarado once again. <laughs> when he spit out the mouthpiece, instead of getting himself more time, oh, yeah. he made the referee in this fight, Joey Chavez, the decision of saying, you're not ready to go. And Emiliano Vargas with the second round technical knockout win. He's got one punch knockout before, but Tim, this was a dominant performance from first bout until the Look, end. This young man, I'm gonna tell you right now, this young man is special. He may be the most talented and hardest working of the young brothers. He did a hell of a job. I'm really proud of my brother. I've seen him throughout training camp, putting his body through a lot of different things, and then it showed fight night. Super proud of him. Let's go. One down, two more bargains. We fight in two go. weeks. The, the guy who came to fight, but he was, Emiliano's just too slick, too smart, too intelligent. I've always sent him like my, 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 like my head fence, and you know, Garcia sent me, and Robert, and Mikey. Primero inteligente, luego valiente, mijo. And that's what he did, all day. You should not like me, but you will respect me. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas. He wants to be a world champion. He told us in the fighter meetings, he said, give me two years. I'll be a world champion before I'm 21 years old. On the seven. I'm on the man, I'm a man on a mission. Man on a mission. Hey baby, Mwah, I love you. I you when you knocked him down that first time? I said, uh, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said Levanta hey, I told that him, man, that, that, that means, that man, get up, my friend. get up my friend. My good friend. My good friend. Whatever it means. I looked at, at the beginning of this year like, man, I'm gonna have seven fights this year. We're halfway through fight number six. You know, we got probably two more fights this year. We're taking it five by five, man. I just, God is, God is so good. And we're just, man. we're just staying in the gym. I'm back in four weeks and, yep. you know. Yay. And that's how she wrote. That's how she wrote. Yes, yes. That's what Who's going to have pizza tonight? Oh, I'm going to some wings <laughs> up. And, and <laughs> yes, you are. I, I, I'm, I'm on it for like two days. I get whatever I want and I'm back on. That's yeah. right. The one everybody's been waiting for. Oscar Valdez and Emmanuel Navarrete. Navarrete obviously wants pace, wants a brawl. Valdez wants a fight that can be managed, that he can control. Navarrete, if he gets off into an early start and he starts getting in his groove, Valdez is going to have trouble, no doubt about it. But if Valdez can control that space in between and the distance and make him fall short with a lot of his offense, then he will have a ton of success with his counters. Oscar Valdez, he says, we all have that one fight that defines your career. I think this is going to be the one. Emmanuel Navarrete has talked about wanting the kind of fight that all great Mexican legends have. He says on his end, he's going to give these fans everything they expect. Here they go for the title. No slow start for Navarrete. He's getting off to nope. a quicker start than I've seen him in the past. Right hand to the body from Valdez. Oh. Both men opening up. Oh, Two punch he combination. Heard him with that. He heard him with that. He's got Valdez hurt. Navarrete.
Navarrete hurt Valdez here. Right hand one two from Navarrete. Tries to push it back with a jab. We got a good one. Oh, good left hand from Valdez. And Navarrete fires back with an uppercut. So far, it's living up to and exceeding expectations early on. No time to waste. High pressure fight. Sneaking short right hand on the inside and then a short left uppercut. And now he lunges at Valdez. It's so awkward and so unpredictable because you don't expect them from this space. There's another driving overhand right hand. There's a four, five, six punch combination from Navarrete. That's what he's great at, off rhythm punches. You don't see that. It's hard to train for this type of work from Navarrete. How would you ever find a sparring apartment that could replicate Emmanuel Navarrete? You can't. You can't. As there is now an abrasion that is opened up to a slight cut with swelling under that right eye. I'd say it's starting to get really good, but it's been like that since the opening bell. Such an intriguing matchup. That right eye is closing, it's closing. Timmy. It's closing. Look at this exchange. We got one guy with an injured right hand. Whoa, we got another guy with a closed eye. And yet we got a Mexican war breaking out. Oh, this is great stuff. Come on, Come now. on, baby. Give Every it to us. Everything it's all about. Everything it's supposed to be. And still championship rounds to go. The eye is almost fully shut. It's pedal oh. to the metal, and it's a right hand from Valdez, and they're swinging away in the center of the ring. Right hand combination from Valdez. Got to find something here. He's going for it. Navarrete fires back. How about it? Standing ovation for these two great champions. Wow, fight. Big fight. Top fight. That's what fights should be. You know, every crowd pleasing guy is fighting their asses on. I thought it was tremendous. That feels like fight one of a trilogy to me. <laughs> Absolutely. That, we just saw. They <laughs> that feels like fight one of what will be this generation's great say it again. all Mexican trilogy. Look at that right eye. Great work. Great work. Great work, brother. You're a warrior. Great work. Thank you. 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 Qué pino de la pelea, que fue una gran pelea, pero desafortunadamente Oscar Valdez no le alcanzó. Navarrete threw well over 1,000 punches. Valdez landed 114 power punches. The one thing we never counted on was Emmanuel Navarrete dominating the distance and ultimately the fight with a jab of all things. He is a great fighter. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Emmanuel Vaquero Navarrete! Emmanuel Navarrete, a unanimous decision winner to retain his world championship in an absolute classic. Will we see this fight again, Emmanuel? Yo creo que la gente es el mejor testigo de todo eso, ¿no? Ellos vieron la pelea. Eh, yo por, por mi parte pues estuve aquí disputándola con Valdés, yo me siento muy bien, gracias a Dios que gané. Valdés le agradezco mucho nuevamente pues la oposición que mantuvo toda la pelea, 
es un guerrero mexicano como, como siempre lo hemos eh, remarcado y pues ya la gente y pues todos los televidentes, toda la gente boxística eh, va, va a andar ahí apretando por si quiere la revancha y si no pues no pasa nada, seguimos con nuestro camino, muchas gracias. We have Oscar Valdez coming in here to congratulate. Eres un campeón, eso es eso, campeón. Felicidades. You are a true champion, a true man and you are as well. Um, he's just a warrior, you know, I tried, tried my best. He's, um, we give it our best, that's all I can say. I feel terrible. Quise darles una buena pelea, quise ganar la pelea. Eh, lo siento a todas las personas que vinieron a apoyarme. Espero les haya gustado la, la pelea. Espero en un futuro regresar, regresar fuerte. He says that to everybody who came out, I hope that you are not disappointed and you enjoyed the fight and I hope to do it again. Timmy, that was just Epic. an amazing, just an amazing fight. It was awesome. Just awesome. The eyes closed. I promise you, the eye hurts a lot less than the heart. Vaquero hizo una pelada como siempre, manejando la distancia, moviéndose suavemente. El problema era que eh, Oscar se aventaba y quedaba mal puesto y le agarraba muy fácil los uppers. Eh, vaquero, que esos son sus golpes preferidos, y lo lastimó y yo creo que fue una muy buena pelea, la gente lo disfrutó. Y yo creo que valió la pena estar esta noche aquí. Una pelea extraordinaria, yo creo que cumplió con los requisitos que así se esperaban. Emocionó a toda la gente, un Oscar Valdés que traía ímpetu, 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 pero falta un poco de estrategia. Y un Maquero Navarrete demostró que hoy por hoy, parecer del estilo difícil de esa condición física que trae, vino y puso las reglas en esta noche. As Emmanuel Navarrete wears that specially designed Mexican warrior jacket that was presented to him by Marco Antonio Barrera and the great Eric Morales. No, estoy feliz, estoy feliz, muy feliz de... Sabíamos que, que iba a salir con la mano en alto, iba, iba con toda la actitud, íbamos bien y gracias a Dios todos, todo se dio. Digo, le, le dolió un, ligeramente la, los, los nudillos, pero pues gracias a Dios todo salió bien. Oh, estoy muy contento, muy agradecido con todo mi equipo, toda mi familia boxística, eh, lo, la gente que me representa, toda la gente de, que estuvo aquí en, el, en la arena. Le agradezco mucho y principalmente bien contento para México porque sin duda alguna fue el público mexicano el quien ganó esta, en esta pelea. A toda la gente que me estuvo apoyando esta noche les agradecemos mucho, eh, creo que podemos decir misión cumplida, eh, agradecemos también a Valdés por el entusiasmo que, que le puso, que le, que le inyectó pues a, esta, a esta pelea y pues nuevamente muchas gracias a toda la gente, Top Brown muchas gracias también por, por todo el apoyo y esperemos que sigan estas peleas tan, tan, tan fuertes, tan icónicas.